hello and welcome to a brand new series. Yes, we are here in Parkitect, uh, getting ready to embark on our new journey as we work through the campaign series of this game. Now, I have not played this game very much. Uh, in Parkitect, uh, they have a nice tutorial up here. Uh, that I did go through. Uh, I'm not going to show you that because that is extremely boring uh, and I did a lot of reading so it wouldn't have been all that fun to watch uh, but we will go through the first one, Maple Meadows here uh, where we have a large clearing on the frontiers of a maple forest, the perfect place to build your first park from the ground up. Easy going guests, relaxed weather, what more could you ask for? Uh, in this scenario, we have at, we need to have at least 200 guests in our park. Uh, in the optional, complete all non-optional goals by the end of December year one. Uh, so our goal is to complete everything, uh, including the optional goals. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in and uh, see where we go. All right, that did not take long. Uh, we are going to pause the game. Maybe, there we go. Uh, apparently the settings that I have that are not, are not good. Uh, okay. So, okay, so I need to adjust that a little bit. Uh, also save game, don't know why that came up. Uh, but here we are at Maple Meadows. Uh, we are already charging a dollar on entry. Uh, we are going to immediately change that because we don't want to charge on entry. Um, yeah, I don't really have too much knowledge of the game, so we are going to poke around quite a bit. Um, I know this is our staff building. We have some staff over here which is very, very nice. And, uh, boy, my frame rates are not all that good. I would have expected this to be a little bit better. Uh, so, boy, that is interesting. Um, but anyway, uh, we're just gonna we're gonna chug along here and see how this turns out. Um, I do want to build a lot of a lot in the in the pause. So you might have heard me mention how I think I want to do build a lot while the game is paused. Uh, well, that was before I realized how long it might take me uh, to actually build something in this game, being so new to it. So here we are with our first time lapse of the series, and you get to see me struggle as I learn the game. Uh, unfortunately, I have watched a lot of videos on YouTube on how this game works. So I did know a few things that were going to be able to help me out here. And uh, I know that I have to pay attention to the scenery and use scenery to block the view of the guests for various things including staff areas back of house all that kind of good stuff so uh, i start by constructing this very very crappy shed type thing that houses two shops in there uh, and i struggle I, I chose to do this because this was like my introductory uh, I need to have something uh, that can I can get used to the controls and, and you know it does help me out quite a bit and I learn quite a bit and I eventually get sick of it and just move on to the carousel so um, we uh, again uh, just focusing on using these hedges to block the view of our guests to those back of house areas uh, we also want to get some uh, canopies, or in this, I guess, roofing, uh, to cover up the queue uh, for the sun. 
Uh, and you know, I think I, I made a few modifications in terms of the ride cycle and how many times it spins. Uh, I think I added one just to be different because I figured whatever the game has set up for me isn't going to be the best option. So uh, we also know that we need to get in some lights, we need to get in some trash bins, uh, and then I think, yeah, we go for the Ferris wheel, which I wasn't planning on putting this in as like the centerpiece, or the weenie as some people call it, uh, but it ends up going, fitting perfectly in there. We add some nice fencing around the outside. We get some flowers in here, which I really wanted to have trees like just some small trees around there, which it didn't really work, so I just put in some of these uh, very small hedge, bush hedge bushes. And uh, yeah, it doesn't really do the job of what I wanted it to, but that's all right. This is the uh, basically the introductory scenario uh, of everything. So again, uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that turns out, especially once we start adding in uh, some of the other things later. Uh, then we're moving on to the wipeout. This is just to give us a little bit of excitement in our park. And again, I'm trying to learn the pillars of this game. Uh, and I, I'm just not very good at it yet. Uh, we eventually... I mean, it, it looks okay. Eventually you'll forget about it once uh, we start building in some of the other stuff. But... Uh, it is, it does turn out pretty nice. I also learned that when you put fences down, it removes the fence if it's on that tile, like the pathing fence, which I thought was really nice. Uh, we start getting some trees in here because we know we're gonna need to block off some of the view from our guests, just add, adding in some random stuff. Uh, one thing I really struggled with, the color that I wanted everything to be. And I settled on this like, very dark brown brick which I mean it's alright I probably could have been a little bit lighter but I didn't want to get into too much time spending with that I also found out that if you place a fence in the middle of the path it breaks the path so then you can put benches on it that made me really happy uh, we start adding uh, some little tree planter type things to add some color to the walkway uh, we add so many bushes or uh, trash cans and the bushes that it's probably a little overkill, but it certainly does the job for what we need it to. And the next thing we're about to do, we take our, we build our first roller coaster in the game. On uh, really just experimenting with the the coaster builder to see how this is going to be f uh, for me to learn. Uh, I am typically pretty decent at building roller coasters, uh, and I knew right from the beginning I did not want the car that is currently on there. So we built it with a little bit longer station because I, I had a feeling that I could change the car type on here, uh, and. Uh, you know, I, I, it's a very good introductory roller coaster, uh, the spinning coaster. Nothing too crazy. I'm not doing inversions. I am doing tight turns. I'm changing things. I'm banking the corners, uh, which I thought was really cool. And, you know, I, I think I was able to manage the speed pretty well all the way through. I wasn't necessarily thrilled with the way the coaster comes into the brake run because I don't think the brake run is long enough but again introductory I, I found a way to make it work and I was pretty happy with it and, and it turns out that it worked and the game was okay with it so I am okay with it um, oh I did forget I had a, had a little pathway turn or a little turn there uh, and that's how I got it back to the point where I could get it to work. Um, yeah, there you can see it's only got two small brake sections, and one of those needed to be a block section. But again, 
it works. Uh, you can see I just switched the train to the other train style that I wanted because then I can have four cars per train which I thought for this type of scenario might be best. Uh, mess around with the colors just a little bit and then we start planning out our roller coaster. I was really hoping that I could squeeze the uh, the path in here uh, but I did have to put it down into the ground a little bit uh, so then I go back and I edit the train so I don't have those ugly looking tunnels there uh, we add our own ugly looking uh, thing in here uh, finish up some of the lamp posts and man I, I really did add a lot of little bushes a lot of lights a lot of uh, benches uh, you know one thing that I do like that I did was you know I varied the fences a lot in here so when it, it was by the coaster it had like a thicker fence when it was just by a flat ride I had a smaller fence so you could see it uh, and, oh here we are oh, building our station um, I didn't really know what I was building. I was just literally looking through to see what kind of pieces I could find that would work best for this style of station. And uh, I constantly go back and forth between the pillars. I don't, I don't really know the pillars. So if you have any suggestions on how to do that, make sure to let me know in the comments. Because again, I am not very good at building in this game. I did not originally plan on building glass. Uh, but I couldn't remember to do that. I couldn't remember where to do anything else. So uh, we just go ahead and we go with it. And uh, I I also forgot that you can resize things. Um, so that I'm gonna have to learn in some of the upcoming scenarios, uh, which will be exciting. But for now, uh, since I couldn't remember how to do any of that. I just add a nice little spire at the front here with the same colors and whatnot. And uh, it all works out for the best. Uh, I did find that, uh, you know, the little tool to uh, just copy and paste things, uh, that's fantastic. It saves you a lot of time when you can't find a piece that you want. Uh, repainting stuff is very simple, which is nice. Uh, and boy, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. Oh, I'm adding in the fences uh, to give it a little bit more, I don't know, realistic look, I guess. I don't, I don't know what you would call that. Uh, and I think we're nearly done. I think I had a few hedges around the sides just to kind of to give it a little bit more depth, we add in a few rocks. I think we tr paint the terrain just a little bit in some areas uh, because it, it just kind of gives us a little bit more, a little bit more depth around, and I think it looks very, very nice for what we have here. Uh, finish up some of our fencing to keep people away from that, and we jump back to the live portion. All right, so I think we have a good start. Let's go ahead and get this going. Uh, we have some loud music. Uh, all of our attractions are testing at the moment, so that's interesting. Uh, we need to get that open. Let's get this open at 150. I think we're charging four dollars for this we'll see if people are okay with that and then our coaster i think we can try and squeeze five out uh i don't even know what the statistics are uh that's honestly not too bad uh for my first first coaster uh we got some things where it has very very tight turns but overall, I'm pretty happy with the way it worked. It turned out here. Um, it does certainly 
throw itself around here a little bit. And you get hard into the brakes before it comes turning back into the station. Uh, and it all looks good. So we got our hauler uh, going here. And let's take a look at our staff. So we got Janitor Stacy Jordan. He's fine. We got Hauler Alfredo Lavelle. That's good. Mechanic Jeffrey Hunt. We don't have any security officers and we don't have... Oh man. Oh, you can choose the people. I like that. Uh, should start to see people coming in here. Yeah, they're all going straight. Or, oh, there are vendors. <laughs> I was like, who the heck is just rolling on in here to our our park and just going straight to the staff only? But uh, that makes a little more sense. Uh, if we didn't, one thing we didn't look at because I forgot is this thing. Let's take a look. Our decoration. Um, why? Why? I don't understand why this is so bad. I feel like it's pretty decent over here. What? Is, what am I missing? am I missing? I would expect that, sure, whatever. This is all pretty good over here. I don't understand what our bad decorations for. Does this not block everything? Like, we intentionally put that there to block it. We need to hide a wall in there? Uh, let's get our... That's not doing anything. There's something I'm missing. And I don't know what it is. Uh, we'll just we'll block that off that way for now. Um, yeah, there's definitely something I'm missing. Rain protection. Uh, we got a little bit. We probably should put a little bit more into that. Trash is fine. Vandalism is fine. Um, this building is just so boring. Uh, Know, people are buying, it, going in, they're riding things. What's this guy thinking? Richard Brown, not really thinking of anything. Took a rest, entered the park. Everything was looking good. Uh, this, we probably need to fine tune this a little bit here. Um, minimum waiting time. Let's make this 25 seconds. Maximum can be 30. We'll make it full load. The chain lift, that's fine. You need to close this ride. Oh, yes, because, yes. Uh, oh, that's in the high category, so that's good. Uh, we should be getting people... I mean, it's not the, the prettiest looking coaster in the world, um, but it, it does the job. This guy, we probably need to set him to full load. 30 seconds should be fine. Did I set this guy to full load? I did, okay. So those should work better. We are getting the Ferris wheel to make us some money. Uh, I still don't... This bothers me. This really, really bothers me. So I don't know why it's doing that. It's 
there's something... I don't know, this carousel music is fantastic. I usually hate... hate that, but... Uh, Alright, so... These guys are doing fine. We got people sitting. Uh, we have 83 people in the park already. People continuing to, to grow. Maybe it's just because this is right up against it? Maybe? I don't know. I think it's gotta be with this. They can... I don't wanna... I don't wanna try and move all that, because that's a lot to, to move. So... Carousel's looking good. Everything's looking good. I mean, we're up to 90 people already. Our coaster... I'll probably want to reduce this... Probably to... We'll just say 20. Make this 25. So we got, let's take a look here. We're going spinning coaster. Spinning coaster was awesome. That's good stuff. This, I want to go on wipeout. I want to go on something a bit more intense than wipeout. Would be expected. Uh, let's see if we can get a little more out of the carousel. Or the uh, Ferris wheel here. The carousel. Uh, I want to go on something a bit more intense. That's fine. That is to be expected. Ferris wheel is just hogging up all the people. Wipeout's doing alright. We got our coaster doing decent here. Do we, are we still going to keep people coming in? Or are we done? Uh, I guess we are we're still doing alright. Uh, rain. That's that is definitely something that I forgot. Things are going to go down for rain. Not letting new guests on the ride until the thunderstorm is over. I really like that feature. That's really cool. This is also probably... I'm not paying that much for Wipeout. That's good to know. Uh, so let's drop him down to 350 again. Uh, this is probably not letting... I'm not paying that much for that. So 1.5 it is. Let me guess. That's still not bad though. Uh, we're not making money. Not right now. Uh, our janitor. There's some trash around. There's a lot of bins so A lot of I put oh, I put way too many of these in, but that's fine. And it's done raining, so that's good. We should soon get uh, people coming back in. I'm not gonna worry. Oh, you can click on things. I like that. What are you doing in here? Alright, so we're up to 101 people. Uh, we probably need... Let's see, what kind of research can we get? Thrill rides seems to be... Seems to make sense. $5,000, that's a lot, but that's fine. Uh, our coaster, I think, is still doing pretty good. We're probably making some money here. Uh, expenses are a little higher than uh, what we're actually drawn in, but that's getting that'll get better. That'll certainly get better. 
Uh, I think we're looking pretty good. Let's take a look. Our shop. Wait, was there dirtiness? Ooh, interesting. Uh, profit per sale. So 40% would be somewhere around there. That, we'll just leave that. Uh, It's fine. We are looking good. The wipeout seems to be it. Uh, wipeout seems to be where our money's at. Uh, what about this right? Oh, that started on a profit. That's amazing. Uh, this has now started making a profit for us. And the coaster is still not making a profit. For us. But that's because it costs a lot more to build it front. So I think we're okay. I actually really like the way the station turned out. I think it looks really, really quite nice with the glass and the blue purplish color. Uh, we got a f almost nearly full ride here. Exciting. Uh, this, I'm pretty happy with this as my first coaster. I think this turned out quite well. Uh, we're at 107 people. Uh, we probably need to get some more uh, uh, more attractions in here, so I'm going to jump back and do a time lapse, and uh, I'll come back to you when we're done. I wasn't too sure how many rides I was going to build, so we just start off with this Gravitron uh, style ride. Uh, we get it all set up here. We get some nice covers set up for it. And then uh, we, I believe we shortly after go into, oh, I tried to do my own covers before I realized, oh, they have, they have some. So yeah, why, why did I even try that? Uh, we uh, finish in some lights here. I don't think I need to do all that much. And then I take a peek through the other attractions and I was like, you know what, I think I need some food. I think we need to add in a little bit more food. So we start making this nice little plaza here. We add in two shops. And you know what, and I was like, you know what, I want to try and do this um, depot thing. And I did not know, understand how it worked at all. Uh, so I put it in, and I was like, man, why am I getting this this air over top? And I realized it's because I don't connect a depot to a depot. I connect the depot to whatever the main supply thing is. Um, but it does take me a little bit to fix that. Um, I continue to build, uh, build things moving forward. And... Uh, you know, this was going to be like a nice little, a, a, a bigger style building to be like a restaurant. Um, but I really, really struggled with it. Um, I, I changed, I think I did the same thing like four times in a row and I was like, no, I still don't like it. So I eventually uh, said no. Um, we did take a look at a lot of our attractions during this time lapse. Uh, we were slightly monitoring the price that guests had to pay to to, to ride the attractions. I uh, would add 50 cents, subtract 50 cents, depending on what they were saying to me, and then I started narrowing it down. Uh, and here I figured it out, oh, I don't need that extra depot. So we got that all set up, and now foo or, uh, things are being delivered to the depot inside there. We got an extra hauler and a janitor, and they were able to get those shops open. And really, once those shops started opening, uh, that's when we really started to make our money. Uh, and we never really made a ton of money. Uh, you can see we're at $2,000 now. We really don't get anywhere beyond that. But again, we are building a rather large building. Uh, we're still trying to monitor everything, try and hide some stuff in there. And again, I am just really struggling with the building, 
how you the different finding different uh, roofs and walls and understanding which walls are the ones that I need uh, and you know it doesn't take too long here before we complete our objective and we don't even finish this so I'm gonna jump back to that and I will see you there Alright, so we were in the middle of building We were in the middle of building our uh, second restaurant style type place uh, We didn't even get all the way through it and we completed our objectives Have at least 200 guests in your park Complete all non-optional goals by the end of December year one. Uh, and you can see we are in September of year one, so we easily made that. And uh, yeah, we have a nice little... A nice little park that we have here. We got our nice little coaster, spinning coaster. Uh, that did the job for us. We are making some money now. So that is awesome and I do hope that you enjoyed the video we're not gonna finish this because I was struggling to build this anyway uh, I hope you are looking forward to the new series where we go through all of the campaign for park attack and I hope you will join us for next uh, next one so if you liked what you see make sure you leave a like if you saw something I could have done better or I missed something because I really don't know anything about this game, make sure you leave it in the comment section. And if you want to find some more awesome Parkadict content, make sure you check out my channel, Mostly Average Matt. Uh, we have videos, usually weekly. Uh, so again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Later.